Hi, welcome. This is Beach Hill Farm and Bison Ranch. I've uh, been coming here off and on all my life. My uh, grandparents used to be here when I was growing up, the dairy farm, and uh, it was passed around the relatives. We had a chance to buy it a dozen years ago, so we did. Moved up from Connecticut, and uh, the uh, bison had arrived here before we took over, so we uh, also uh, purchased the bison and uh, started raising them as well as, as well as vegetables. Yeah. This is Doretta. I'm Ted. Yep, and uh, yeah, our, our vegetable garden started to grow and grow and we expanded throughout the farm and we uh, do bread as well that um, we bake once a week. So uh, we started thinking about what we can do to save on energy and uh, having this open space here, we wanted to be able to uh, try to figure out something solar that we could do. And it took quite a few years for us to figure out the right thing for us. <laughs> no, Garbo Kane. We had Garbo Kane. Fred Garbo Who? and Sean Kane. Right. And uh, last uh, fall, up through December, we had this system put in. Uh, we looked at whether we should mount it on posts or, but since we had the barn, and the barn faces southwest, uh, it, we decided to put it in the barn. It's a, a dual system. It's actually two systems that are working hand in hand. Uh, one system is just a general uh, system that puts power on the grid, uh, gives us credits, and then we buy back those credits whenever uh, we need them. Uh, the other system is a smarter system. It's a, a storage system so that uh, it's a hybrid. Uh, what happens is the, uh, the solar system keeps some batteries charged. When the batteries are charged, uh, the remaining goes out on the grid or it can go in the house for use. And if the power goes off, uh, which is one of the things we're looking for, uh, the house system, at least parts of the house system, can shift back to the batteries. Uh, only part of the house. We have our critical loads panel. Uh, so that powers uh, the water pump, the heat, some lights, uh, one of the ref uh, refrigerators. Uh, and uh, will keep us going until we can see if we need to have more power or until the power gets back. So having the dual system works out quite well. There are 54 panels. It's not quite 50-50, but it's close enough to consider it 50-50. And uh, uh, pretty pleased with it. Oh yeah, I'm very pleased with it. I'm the one that pays the bills. And uh, <laughs> wow, <laughs> it's been a huge difference. How long do you think it will take to pay back the investment if you were looking at it against like your electric bill? Like how many years of... Well, if the electricity doesn't go up the same price, roughly a dozen years. Uh, could be as low as eight, could be 15. That's not bad. Uh, we don't have enough numbers yet. Uh, one of the advantages of putting on the barn is because you've already got the structure. Mm -hmm. Also, it doesn't occupy uh, on the you know, space on the ground. Uh, disadvantage is that we're locked into the uh, slope of the barn, slope of the roof, and on the direction of the barn. Uh, so to get enough power, since we're facing southwest, there are a few extra panels on there. Right. Uh, but uh, the incremental cost wasn't very much more, I don't think. DC power is going from the roof over to the house and there are disconnects for the two two systems so basically if you needed to turn off the system or if a, uh, there was a fire and the fire company needed to uh, make sure they're clear uh, they could then turn off the two circuit breakers also of course for doing any work on the system This is our, our master panel for powering the, the farm. And uh, this, this inverter is the system that it takes half the panels, and this is the hybrid system, charges the battery pack. So if the batteries, uh, if the power goes off on the house, say a nice snowstorm, then it'll, it's able to shift the power and power this portion, which is the critical loads panel, um, by battery, normally it operates uh, just off the, uh, the grid, of course. So this is the hybrid smart system. Uh, this is a relatively uh, 
simple system, it's a, just a simple inverter that takes the other part of the panels and uh, powers basically to the grid. Uh, and then the, uh, when we need the power back, we can um, buy back or use the, use the credits. So these are the two solar systems. Uh, otherwise, there are a few other things. This is a master panel coming in. That's a monitoring system. Uh, this is an alarm system, which doesn't relate to the, to the rest at all. And then, uh, because part of, this, part of the farm is on a separate power box um, up in the shed chamber, then this system coming from the main power box can be run with a generator, which powers the barn and powers the, uh, uh, the other part of the shed chamber. So it's more complicated than you normally would have for a house, but for the barn purposes, it gives us the options uh, and gives us the backup power, which powers the uh, principally the uh, some lights, a uh, refrigerator in the commercial kitchen, uh, the water pump, important thing, and the, the propane furnace. It How long will that work for? We don't know yet, but at least it works overnight because that's what we've used it. And <laughs> So uh, I would expect uh, at a reduced level, maybe 12 to 24 hours. It's been wonderful to have it. But typically the power is going to go off at 11.30 at night on a snowstorm and this, this, you don't have to worry about it until the next day. And then you can think about well, how much is left and so forth. But it's been very useful so far. Yeah, the monitoring uh, system goes off the, to the internet, uh, goes to Solar Edge, and then we can pick up uh, information off the web, off Solar Edge, to see uh, how it's doing producing power and it is operating properly. Mm -hmm. uh, it's nice, it basically says uh, green, uh, green bars when uh, it's producing energy and when you're using energy and not producing enough energy, it starts showing red and you hope that you have more green than red. But seeing some green is always good, January. Uh, now, one thing about having a fixed system on top of the barn is there's some concern about heavy snows. Uh, not much happens until it starts melting off or we end up putting up there and, and, uh, with a, basically a roof rake and trying to loosen up the snow a little bit and have it shed when the sun comes out. Um, but the monitoring uh, works off the internet. We can pick it up on the iPhone. We can pick it up on the, on the computer. We used to look at it every day. It's probably been a month since I've looked at it. Because yeah, I can tell Ted, you go turn that fan off. Go turn <laughs> You're using yeah, too much. <laughs> she's the police for the uh, use of electricity. Uh, so that works out pretty well. It's the right thing to do. Yeah. And I think that's uh, the bottom line is uh, some people have asked us, well, why? Why'd you do it? And you know, it's expensive or whatever. Or, you know, you're not going to see your return for a while. It's, but it's the right thing to do. And okay. the, pay, the payback, when I answered that question earlier, um, that's based on the fact that we think the power is going to stay at the same price it is now. And uh, I don't expect that. I expect the power, the price per unit of energy is going to go up. So the payback gets quicker. But as Dredda mm -hmm. said, we feel good because it's the right thing to do. If we had more roof, we probably would have made it bigger. But, sure. you know, uh, but it was the right thing to do.